Welcome back to the shooting channel. And today we're gonna to do a film about what safety kit you need when you start shooting. This is when you've decided you're gonna start shooting and when you're gonna to go to a shooting school to have your lessons. The general rule is hearing protection and eye protection must be worn at all times. I recommend these, there is loads of different sorts of eye protection. You've got pillars, you've got Casolini, you've got RM, you've got all sorts of things. They're gonna cost you three or 400 pounds. We sell and we have, there's loads of people, they buy Evolution glasses. They start at 12 pounds and they go up to sort of 50 pounds. The set is about 50 pounds. They are one of the best shooting glasses you can get. When you're buying these glasses, okay, they're safety glasses, but everyone kind of puts a pair of sunglasses on or the cheapest pair and they buy really small ones. The thing to look at when you're buying a pair of shooting glasses, as well as safety, is to buy them that sit high on your face. So when you put the head onto the gun, you're looking through the center of the lens. A lot of people buy lens glasses that are here and you look through the top of the lens. And I'll just show you with a gun what I mean by that. So, so if I mount this gun and you can see that my lens, when I put my head on my gun, my eyes will still be through the center of the lens. So I'll just check you, the gun is empty. And if I mount my gun into the camera, see my, I'm still looking through the center of that lens. So if I do it again, center of that lens. So that is the first thing you want to think about. And there is loads and loads and loads of bad shooting glasses on the market, cheap shooting glasses on the market. I'm not gonna mention some of the names, but you've got some of the big well names that are still really bad because they haven't got the width there. So they've got the wraparound bit, but they don't have the height there. And that is the biggest thing you need to be thinking about is when you buy those glasses is to have the height and also to have no rim here. So this has got no rim. So when you put the head onto that, onto it, you don't get away of the rim there. You keep the rim out the way. So that's the biggest thing. They are also safety. I would recommend, don't matter where you go, whether you're a club shooter, a competition shooter, whatever, wear your glasses. The last thing you want to do when you go around the ground is have a bit of clay fall in your eye. Your eyes are the most important thing. So make sure you wear those glasses to stop debris going into your eyes. And then the next thing is hearing protection. Now, this is quite a controversial subject. A lot of people now are going with plugs. Now, the one thing I learned right away from when I was younger age, and I learned this from Peter Wilson, um, which I think everyone knows who Peter Wilson is, he actually used to wear plugs and phones. Because everyone says, even the really expensive plugs, you put them in your ear and they think that is good. You've got to remember, that some of the sound goes into your ear around here. So this is why, and I believe Pelter earphones are one of the best. This is why people like Browning and Beretta, actually, if you look at their, their earphones, they're made, they're Pelter earphones with their branding put on it. So these are the same, these are exactly the right ones. They also have, they're tapered here. So when you mount the gun here, you don't smack the gun onto the earphone. So that is your Pelto earphone, and I do believe they are better than earplugs, and they are £25. So they're not expensive, protect your hearing, think about wearing earphones rather than earplugs. They are so much better for your hearing. They also do the electronic ones, which are about 100 to 135 pounds, which a lot of instructors wear so you can hear when you're teaching people. But to start with, 25 pounds, there's a lot of cheap manufacturers on the market which are cheaper, but for £25, save your hearing. I would also say get yourself a decent skeet vest. Again, there are a lot of manufacturers that are cheaper. These sealer ones are what I recommend. They retail at £59. You can get them cheaper than that, but they do retail at £59. 
they are absolutely superb you zip them up they've got they're right-handed or left-handed so they've got nothing no problem with being right-handed or left-handed they're wide here and you slide the gun up there the biggest thing you don't want to have is like a fleece like a chauffeur fleece or an allen plane fleece where you've got a big collar here the whole idea of a skeet vest is for you to put cartridges in here and for you to slide that gun up into there so it slides up here and the whole width has got to be from the pocket right the way up to the top so that's your skeet vest and the the best one that i recommend is your ceiling skeet vest for value for money it does everything it's not the cheapest but it's not the most expensive so you can get more expensive like this but the ceiling one to me is the best value for money you can get and then the other one the last thing i would i would look at and this isn't this is a recommendation by most grounds is a baseball cap obviously i've got my tsc shooting channel baseball cap and a lot of grounds in theory i don't like shooting in a baseball cap when you're actually shooting because when you when you mount that gun it narrows your field of vision when you're doing it. So it narrows your field of vision to here. If you take it off, it gets you looking, gives you a lot more peripheral vision. There are certain grounds that will make you wear them all the time. Generally, that's because some of those targets shouldn't be shot on that ground because they're throwing targets into the stand. The only thing I would really recommend is when you're shooting driven, wear caps all the time but when you're shooting everything else take the ca cap off shoot your stand when you finish put it back on again so that is what i would recommend to start with um, again if certain grounds say to you you will find there's certain grounds that are very small and they try and cram loads and loads of stands in and they shoot all over different stands and that's where bits of clay drop on you Again, those grounds should be set up properly uh, rather than making you wear a hat. Trying to cram loads of stands into a, into a shooting ground isn't the most professional way of running a shooting ground. The only thing I would recommend is when you're walking around the ground, you wear a cap, and when you're shooting driven, you wear a cap. Or when you're shooting flushes, things like you wear a cap. That is my basic safety gear. Again, you can spend as little or as much money as you like on that safety gear. But with all this, you've got £50 for the skeet vest, £55 for the skeet vest. You've got from £12 upwards, you've got £25. And that is my recommendation on the basic safety gear you've got. You've got caps. Again, they range from £15 to £20 to £25. Um, and that is my recommendation on, on what you need to get to be safe when you go out shooting. And those three, those four things, to me, is what you should be buying when you first go to your shooting school. Don't buy them online. Buy them at your shooting school because then you will get the right thing. Generally, a lot of people, they go online, they find the cheapest thing. Rather than going to your shooting school, asking for recommendation and buying what they would recommend. Earphones, get yourself a pair of earphones, not plugs. They are so much better for your hearing protection, for your ears. And again, when you look in your eyes, ears, you only have one set, protect them. If you are shooting a lot, think to yourself, get some of the foam earplugs and put foam earplugs and, ear and earphones on as well. It will really dull that sound out. And then your glasses, again, Casolini to me is the best, it's the top of the range, but if you want something for sort of inexpensive, go for your Evolution ones, 12 to 20 pounds to start with. The set is 50 pounds. So go for that sort of thing to start with. So that is your basic shooting safety gear that you need to go out shooting. And again, as I said, go to your shooting school, a proper shooting school, not gun shop, a proper shooting school, will recommend the proper stuff to go out and start shooting on a safe way. So go to your shooting school, ask for their advice, buy it from there, rather than going online and buying the cheapest you can get. I've picked out what I believe is the cheapest and the most affordable for a long range of everyone. 
I hope you enjoyed this film. Any comments you want to make on this, please comment below and we will do our best to answer them. Please like and subscribe and I look forward to seeing you next week. Thank you.